design a low pass butterworth digital filter to give attenuation of 3 db or less for frequencies up to 2 kilohertz and attenuation of 20 db or more beyond 4 kilohertz use by linear transformation and obtain h episode of the desired filter given sampling interval t equal to 0.1 millisecond here we can see that the passband attenuation is of 3 db and the corresponding passband edge frequency is 2 kilohertz which is given in hertz so we have to convert that into radians by 2 pi into 2000 and 20 db is the stock mat attenuation and 4 kilohertz is the corresponding stop band frequency so this also we have to convert into radians and the transformation given is bilinear and the sampling interval is 0.1 millisecond so let us try to solve this one the given specifications are alpha p equal to 3 db alpha s equal to 20 db then the passband edge frequency equal to 4000 pi radians per second and the omega s yes, equal to 8000 pi radians per second so from which we can compute the order of the filter the order of the filter n is given by logarithm of 10 raised to 4 into alpha is minus 1 all divided by logarithm of omega s by omega p and we are substituting we get this one substituting for the specifications and calculating we get the value of n as 3.3181 which when rounded to the next highest integer we get the order of the filter capital N equal to 4 next step is the determination of the normalized transfer function h of sn so this h of sn you can directly obtain from the look table as h of sn equal to sn square plus 0.965 sn plus 1 etc so corresponding to n equal to 4 you can directly take the h of sn or we can compute using the equation as for n even h of sn equal to pi k equal to 1 to n by n minus n by 2 this one where pk is given by this equation so in our case capital n equal to 4 therefore h of sn equal to k equal to 1 to 2 this one this we can return as 1 by sn square plus bk sn which is equal to k equal to 1 so b 1 sn this is k equal to 2 b2 now we can determine b1 and b2 now b1 is given by 2 sin 2 into 1 minus 1 2 pi divided by 2 which is equal to 2 into sin pi by 8 which is equal to 0.765 similarly b2 equal to 2 into sin 2 into 2 minus 1 to pi which is equal to 2 sin 2 into sin 3 pi by 3 pi by 8 which is equal to 1.848 substituting for b1 and b2 we get the same expression as from the lookup table so we have determined the normalized transfer function next we want to determine the unnormalized transfer function or the actual transfer function corresponding to the cutoff frequency omega c for that we have to determine the cutoff frequency 
cutoff frequency is given by omega p by 10 raised to 0.1 alpha p minus 1 raised to 1 by 2 n or omega s by this expression. There will be a slight difference in the cutoff frequencies when we are computing using omega p and omega s. So for the time being let us take this omega p by this expression for the computation of omega c. So when we are computing we will get omega c as 12,574 radians per second. If you are using omega s, yes, the value will be 14151, 14,151 radians per second. Let us choose omega c as this one. Now, we are going to replace every s with sorry Sn by omega C by S. So replace Sn with the omega C by S. Now we can simplify from which H of S we can obtain H of Z by replacing S with the 2 by T 1 minus S inverse by 1 plus is it inverse where t is given as 0.1 millisecond which is equal to 0 0.0001 second substituting and simplifying finally you may get an answer in this form